Oh, howdy there, cowboys. <laughs> Today you're at the Liquid Lunch Saloon. And uh, as you know, I opened today's show talking about Bitcoin. I never advise you to do anything without educating yourself. But I did mention that uh, under 10,000, I thought there was an opportunity. And I got along a little bit more Bitcoin today. And the main reason was because I got some of my favorite crypto cowboys in the house with me today. And uh, joining me today from the Wild West Crypto Show, it's my good buddy, uh, the crypto cowboy himself, Drew Taylor. And uh, of course, we have uh, Bitcoin Ben joining us also. So now, my friendly cowboys here brought me down a little 10 gallon head, and now we're gonna start talking about what the crypto cowboy and crew is up to. I, so what's happening? The last time I saw you with Yerg and all the boys down yeah, in Miami. That's it. Promised you were gonna come up and bring me a lid, and thank you, my fine neighbor. <laughs> So what's happening, boys? Tell us what's happening in crypto you, cowboy land. You're watching the market, right? We're, there are no. buying opportunities out there. And uh, Let me tell you, we came up here. He drove up from St. Louis, came all the way up here because the reality is, as you well know, John, you follow this stuff, cryptos, they're taking, this, they're taking the financial system over. Folks, you've been watching the news and they've had to go, go in and pump up the banks again. Yeah, well, let me tell you, pumping up those banks, the reason that they're doing it, cryptos are merging, they're getting into there, and cryptos themselves are going to, if you're not into it, folks, you need to get into it. What I love about John, he's talking about cryptos every day, right? Mm -hmm. And there, so you've got to pay attention to all the underlying. Don't listen to your mainstream media. They're going to lie to you about what's going on in the marketplace. No. And we're truth tellers, man. Yeah, we are. Right? Ben, Absolutely. if anybody knows about Bitcoin itself, it's Bitcoin Ben. That's why we bring him in. Tell us what's happening. I love Bitcoin right here. Hey, uh, uh, I age for like cryptocurrencies. As with any actual currency, it's the community that drives the value of, of the actual cryptocurrencies. And the larger the community, the larger that everyone gets involved, the higher the prices go because they value it more. I'm, I'm actually touring around the country and the world. It's the Bitcoin Bin Global Adoption Tour. And uh, we were here in New Jersey, or no, I'm sorry, Philadelphia. And, uh, and we had a big old you know, Bitcoin Bin meetup. There were a ton of people there eating chicken wings, drinking beer. I think a few people had had a few shots of vodka, uh, including a few me. Shots. We're gonna need a few more than that, Ben. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but thousands and thousands of people tune in when you go live from the road, uh, and they all want to hear where Bitcoin Ben is at, where you're going, what's happening. Uh, how did you get such a tremendous following like well, this? Well. Uh, other than being terribly good looking, it's uh, it's really I'm the average the average guy. I'm a truck driver Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Now because of this, I travel Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm the average Joe, and uh, and luckily for me. I'm not that smart where I'll actually get on YouTube and I'll voice my opinion and I'll say Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, educate people where they can really grasp not only, you know, hey, there's this hype going on and the price is going up. I educate them on blockchain, why it's going up. And, and I've grown enough where I have enough friends in the industry that will call me or email and we'll sit and talk and I can relay that to the average Joe and go, all right, well, Litecoin's doing this, Ethereum's doing that. And that that gives the, the community the confidence to invest with knowledge. So you, you're like, uh, you guys are like shake and bake. And I know, yes. I know we got, I know we got Bitcoin Dave off there and Jurg, one of the, one of the founders of all of this right. stuff. Um, so these guys are dialed into the whole community there and you don't bet. think that because he's a cowboy and he's a trucker, you ain't talking to the people that know where the rubber meets the road because this is the rubber and that's the road and anything that's missing in between for friction and stuff, they're right over there. Jurg is there, Dave is there. Yep. Uh, 
but you sit at the home base at the OK Corral. Right. OK. Right, that's it. And you got Bitcoin, Ben, cruising right. around the country, hearing from the word of the people. And this is not just a show oh, no. or an education no, no. platform. This is a movement, baby. It is, man. The, the, we call this the revolution evolution. And what's going on in the space right now, John, is that there's so much misinformation. We're showing people practical applications. And I'll give you a quick example, OK? I'm transferring money from Venmo into my bank account and it goes through the ACH system and all that. Just a couple of weeks ago, I'm traveling, right? Well, it gets held up because they want to do a manual review because when you're in crypto, you're under a little bit of scrutiny, right? Yeah, no. So anyway, Tell I'm, me about it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. How so about I when go he names in, Johnny Tobacco when I you know, wear pinstripe yeah. suits and cowboy hats? You think they're looking at my Venmo? <laughs> well, just put it this way. As a truck driver and I'm in cryptos, they think I'm like the supply chain for drugs. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He's hauling it all. Yeah. And, and, uh, and, Ah, it, it, so now it's all coming down. Uh, now we're starting to get the plan here. Right, we right. We got the uh, home base in Texas. That's where we all are the narcos Satoshi are coming Nakamoto. in. Yeah. We got yeah. Bitcoin Ben over there trucking it around the country. And everybody's paying in this secret, sinister money. Oh, yeah. The is. government yeah. doesn't want people to think it's safe. And I'm, I want to give you guys an example. Um, c across the country, states, governors, the president of the United States talk about banning vapes, these yeah. e-cigarettes, oh, yeah. yeah. right? We're going to ban them right? because uh, 299 cases have been reported of people having illnesses due to vapes. Right. Yesterday in America, for those of you not keeping score at home, 1,500 human beings in America died from cigarette-related deaths. Yesterday, 200 people in history got sick from vapes. It's the lobby. It is. It's the tobacco lobby. Because we shouldn't have federal intervention because 200 people had some related symptoms. But uh, it's the same thing with Bitcoin. The bank lobby, they don't want to lose those $3 ATM charges. Right. And they don't want to lose those $15 overdraft charges. Right. And they don't want to lose that 3% on the ACH. So we're fighting not just the government. We're but fighting the biggest lobbies in the world. We are, but hang on a second. What do you mean $15? They're $25 overdraft fees. You guys get a discount. What's up yeah, with that? And, <laughs> well, I was hypothesizing. I try not to get over. Yeah. I try not to get those over. Oh, yeah, yeah, fees, exactly. I know, I've heard of cases, this is true, where, um, you know what I'm saying, like most women these days are carrying like less than 50 bucks in cash yeah. on them, uh, maybe lower, right? I've heard cases where people, men and women, got low in their bank account, they're waiting for their overnight deposit from their payroll or whatever, right? So they're low, and they go buy $7 worth of stuff in Dunkin' Donuts, yeah, which yeah. puts them into overdraft before they posted their money. Or with these guys is, uh, is, is we need to accumulate a community so that we have enough of a voice where when we vote locally or we vote you know nationally or whatever we can actually partner with other freedom oriented groups yes and we can vote in more so freedom oriented people why don't we people. do some kind of coalition Hey, you know what I mean? Because uh, here's, here's what tobacco, I'm like Bitcoin, whiskey, yeah, wine. Yeah, we go alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> yeah. Throwing some Bitcoin and Bitcoin, we're getting good. Tobacco, yeah, we're that's good. it. <laughs> but no, seriously. Um, on this show, we talk about Bitcoin, we talk about the markets, but we also talk about politics. And every day we have a segment, Mix It Up, where I mix up a cocktail, have on a Democrat and a Republican, and we call them the, we call them the purple people. Um, yeah. And, the, and those are most of America, if you ask me. Socially kind of liberal, fiscally kind of conservative, but practical folks. Uh, where's the other? Where's the, the, the Cheers, other, my uh, friends. Glass for, uh, uh, thank you, Sarah. But yeah, these people, I call them the purple people. Yeah. These are people who are some red and some blue. You know, we, we want fiscal conservatism. We want free markets. We want capitalism. Come on, let's have uh, one more drink hey, together. What the heck? Oh, yeah, let's, let's do this. <laughs> You're speaking so, my uh, language. Guys, uh, this is our sponsor, Question Tequila. And uh, we have it. We're well fortified. We're supplied, and it's in the studio every day. I already started cheers. with vodka, oh, so I'm I try sorry. not we to were, mix. We, we um, were actually doing a cheer because I just slug it back. All right. Well, listen, slug it back. But uh, let's get together. Let's do something with the Wild West and the Wild East and bring together the movement, the purple people. They, we don't need the left and the right. The middle is the strongest people around, if you ask me. You bet. No, you're, you hit the nail on the head. And let me tell you, part of this education, adoption, and this community Ben's talking about, when people understand what crypto really is, 
then people will be adopting this in such a way. I mean, it'll, it's, it'll be like the gold rush of California, won't it? Absolutely. All right. You know what? Um, I'm having fun with this. Yeah. yeah. Um, would you guys hang around and we're going to get to a couple other guests and we'll come back to you to end up the show. And we'll, Love to. We'll, uh, we'll bring on uh, Bitcoin Dave and we'll bring on yeah. Jurg and we'll have, a whole, we'll have a whole posse party and we'll brainstorm this thing. But uh, y'all cowboys and cowgirls stay right there. Don't take them spurs off because we're going to keep riding right here through hour two. The Wild West Crypto Show and uh, my good friend, the Crypto Cowboy, Bitcoin Ben, Bitcoin Dave, Yerk are all going to come back for a second dose. Part two after this.